All right. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This is your real estate technology coach, Elder Reyes. Um, as always, you can reach me at Elder A. Reyes, Elder A. Reyes at gmail.com, facebook.com forward slash RE Tech Coach. And obviously, my direct line, my mobile, my cell phone is 530 760 7827. Today, I want to talk about lead capture guys. And this is a very, very important topic because I'm seeing a lot, you know, with, with the online environment for real estate, so competitive right now, I'm seeing a lot of realtors and brokers try to be sneaky or trying to kind of, you know, give false hope or, or, or not set proper expectations when it comes to what they're, what they're providing for their clients, right? What they're getting, what what they're telling people they'll get if they put their name, their email and phone number, right? So you guys are kind of trying to trick people into giving you their name, their email and phone number, right? Because you want to get as many leads as possible. Let me tell you why this is not a good business practice, guys. And think about it right now. How many times have you used some kind of mandatory lead capture? And what I mean by that is, you, you used to have a real estate website or maybe you currently have a real estate website or some form of online portal where you require their name, their email, their phone number before they get any information. How many of you guys have tried that before, right? And let me ask you quite another question. What type of lead quality did you get? Also, let me ask you another important question. What type of conversation was it when you finally got a hold of these people, right? I'm pretty sure it was something like, hi, this is Elder Reyes. Um, you know, I'm giving you a call because you were on my website, you know, elderreyesrealestate.com. Just wanted to check in with you to see, you know, how I can help you out. Um, what, or what, you know, what, what specific questions you have? And they're like, who are you? What are you talking about? I didn't feel nothing out. Um, take me off your list, please. Who wants to be calling those type of leads all day? Guys, I completely understand right now that with these CRMs, with AI, with these smart CRMs, with these all-in-one platforms that all these coaches are telling you, just get as many emails and phone numbers, throw them into the system, right? And, and yes, a part of that is true, right? But you don't have to trick people into giving you their name, their email, and phone numbers because I guarantee you by doing that, your experience when you actually call them to help them buy, sell, or invest in real estate will not be a good one. And the value you get from it as an actual business owner, entrepreneur, real estate agent, or broker is very, very minimal. Yes, on occasion, will it work? Yes, will there be that one golden nugget that you get that goes, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I think I remember you. Uh, you're a realtor in, in Los Angeles, right? Guys, but... Is that one little golden nugget really work all your headache, all those headaches, all that frustration, all those calls to like 99 other pro out of 100 prospects or leads that you got because you told them, hey, I have this new property on the market that hasn't hit the market yet. Um, ca call me now. I'll tell you all about it. And, and, and you say it's in this area for this price point, has these property characteristics, and they call you and you're like, well, you know what? That property's gone, but I have thousands of others. How can I help you? Guys. You don't need to be sneaky anymore when it comes to lead capture, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, people right now are going to more portals than ever, right, when it actually comes to getting information, right? So, And that includes buyers and sellers. So if I'm a buyer or a seller in today's market, I'm going to hundreds of different portals, websites, platforms, right? And I'm getting a lot of information from all those platforms. Right. So today, the way to capture good leads, right, and, and leads that are actually going to end up doing business with you is by giving good, solid, quality information. You don't need to trick these realtors. I mean, I'm sorry, you don't need to trick these buyers and sellers into, into thinking they're going to get something, then they call you and and you can't provide that, right? That, that setting of improper expectations is not going to lead to transactions. Yes, you're probably... Um, get a bunch of leads, right? And yes, you'll probably get every once in a great while you might get a transaction of it, of, of it, but that's not a good way to run 
your business, right? You guys want prospects that are looking for the services that you offer in the markets that you're willing to work in. That's what you guys are looking for. And by doing these sneaky tactics when it comes to lead capture, it's not going to work. So what are my recommendations in regards to lead capture? Guys, if you have a website, and I highly recommend you have some type of lead capture you know, button that pops up or some type of lead capture page, lead capture capability that does pop up, but give them value, right? Let them look at 5, 10, 15, 20 pages, right? I always tell folks, a lot of it is also directly correlated to what your price point is, right? So for example, guys, if you guys are higher end agents, right, you're in that million dollar and up space, you probably want to let them look at, I would say 10, 15, 20 pages before you require lead capture. Now, at any point, would I have something on the side that says for more information on this home or to find out what your home is worth? Yes, you always want you know them putting their information very easy and accessible, but you don't want to make it mandatory, especially in the infant stages of their search, guys, okay? That's why I have a lot of problem with landing pages and doing like PPC or Facebook ads to landing pages that require name, email, and phone number before they provide any value. I'll give you guys a perfect example. Recently, me and my girlfriend were looking for a vehicle. So I was on Facebook, right? First, I was on the internet looking for a specific type of vehicle. Then when I went to my Facebook to my Facebook account, right, all of a sudden on my, on my feed, I'm seeing thousands of ads from car dealerships, right? Hello AI, right? So I started looking through the ads, I really did. And what just, what, what really annoyed me was if I saw a car that I may be interested in and I clicked on it, these guys wanted my name and email and phone number before I actually even seen any type of characteristics about the car, right? Um, you know, just, you know, just what I was specifically looking for, right? But the ones that allowed me to actually get information on the car, you know, kind of, you know, see, you know, how many miles were on it, you know, with some of the actual extra, some of the bells and whistles the car had, where the dealership was, all that little bit of information that I was looking for, that's who I ultimately ended doing business with. It was a car dealership right here in Irvine. And the reason I specifically picked them when I bought my new vehicle was because, I clicked on the ad. It gave me all the information, not only about the car I clicked on, but, uh, but about, I think it was about 20 other cars. And then at the bottom, it just said, for more information on this particular vehicle, contact me. Boom, I contacted them. They replied to me within an hour. You know, if, if you've ever dealt with car dealer, dealerships or car salespeople, those guys are very go-getter. So the guy called me within an hour, set up an appointment, boom. The next day, I was driving off with a new vehicle. Guys, the same thing is true about this real estate industry. Stop making it mandatory for someone to put their name, email, and phone number before they give you information. Also, stop trying to trick people into giving you their information, right? Show them what you have. Show them properties. Show them your value. Show them how awesome of an agent you are. Social that you're, show them also that you're not spitting out commission breath with your marketing, right? right? Doing like a, 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 di a digital commission breath spin, right? By saying, you have to give me your info before you see anything. Guys, that does not work anymore. There's so many platforms, so many portals for the consumer today to pick from. They're going to go with the one that gives them the most value, that gives them the most and current, the, the best information, the most current information for what they're specifically looking for, guys. All right. Um, so, Definitely stop with the mandatory lead capture. Stop with these whole little tactics that I see on all these websites, on all these platforms um, about like stuff, offering stuff that you cannot, that, that you cannot fulfill, setting improper expectations. The consumer nowadays, just like you realtors and brokers are smarter than ever guys. Like, I did a video, uh, you know, a couple of days ago that talked about like the, you know, my real estate successful online blueprint, right? If you guys want to check it out, go back up, go back a couple clicks here on my YouTube channel and you'll see, I basically laid out a plan for real estate online success, right? And in there, I, I told you, I told you guys, realtors and brokers nowadays are smarter than ever. I've been in this business for over 15 years. I've worked with over 3,500 real estate agents and brokers. That's closer to 4,000 now. And I'll tell you right now, the guys and gals in real estate that I'm dealing with now are smarter than ever. You guys know more. You guys understand 
the, you know, the, the mark, you know, what, what's going on with marketing. There may be a little nugget or so. Maybe we need to bring it all together. For, for the most part, you guys get the general picture, and that's awesome. Guys, the consumer's the same way, right? Um, they, they, they go online. They're looking for a specific thing. If you can provide them the information that they're looking for, right, um, then it's up to date. It's easily accessible, right? And also, you're easily accessible, right? They will do business with you. You don't need to trick them no more. You don't need to do these little, little, um, check out this list of properties that no one else is showing right now. If you have a list of properties that no one else is showing, that's awesome. Do that. But if you don't, don't do that because what happens? They're going to call you or they're going to reach out to you, right? And they're going to go, I want to, what, what list are we talking about? When you go, well, that list is all gone, but I have some other homes that are for sale. They're going to hang up the phone on you. Was that worthwhile? Was that even worth the, the little sense it was a click? Because I guarantee you, if you put them in your, in your CRM, you put that lead in your CRM, what's going to happen? They're going to block you, right? They're going to report you to spam, right? And if, you're, and if your CRM, if your follow-up, if your drip system, if all that stuff gets reported to spam enough, guess what? You're going to start a new platform, right? So, guys, mark my words. Trust me. Do this for the next 90 days. I'm on this big 90-day kick thing because – I, I did some very, very uh, beta testing last year where everything that I implemented with all my realtors and brokers, we did for 90 days. We did for 90 days. And everything we did for 90 days and the broker or agent that I was working with at the time stuck to that program for 90 days, they got results. They got deals. They got transactions. So I'm telling you this now. If you're out there and you have mandatory lead capture or you're being sneaky with your lead capture and you're tired of calling these tire kickers that you guys want to call them they're not tire kickers you're just not providing them information but you're tired of call, calling these leads that are not are not high quality leads right if, if, if you're tired of getting crap leads for lack of better words take away the mandatory lead capture take away the sneaky lead capture tactics and just try this provide value provide value provide value and then and then uh, have a place for them where if interested they can fill they can if interested name email and phone number do you want more information on the property name email and phone number are you interested in selling your home name email and phone number but give them value guys just like with me people are always like a lot of other coaches out there that i network with or whatnot are always like elder you you give your blueprint out on videos you give a lot of your tactics out on videos why because I'm giving value. And what happens every time I do one of these videos, just like after this one, right, I'm going to go to my Facebook business page and I'm going to get a DM from a realtor who's going to say, Elder, how much are your services? It happens every time I do a video, right, which is why I do so many videos, right, because I'm giving all you guys value. I'm sharing valuable information because I'm really trying to help you guys out by giving you tools that are effective for your real estate business, but most importantly, the strategy with those tools, guys. So, this strategy, this tool, lead capture, don't make it mandatory, make it voluntary, or make it embedded, meaning give, let them look at 10, 15, or 20 pages on your website, whatever platform, on your blog, on your, on whatever thing you're doing, guys, give them, give them information. I promise you, right, if you give them enough valuable information, they will do business with you. Now, having said all of that, I'm not saying don't do lead capture. I'm not saying just have a website and don't have any place where they can put their name, email, phone number. That would be insane because eventually those people will go to a website that, that makes them register, right? But remember, give them value first. Let them look at homes. Let them look at property. Let them, let them read your blog. Let them, let them read your bio. You know, let them see why you are the agent that they want to do business with. If you give them all that information, I promise they will do business with you. Guys, do this for 90 days. Let me know how it works out. Do me a favor. Leave some feedback. Leave some comments. Subscribe to my channel. Everyone, thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah, I, I just did a really I, – I, did, I, did, I posted actually three videos on Sunday. The amount of feedback I received yesterday was amazing, and it's all because of you guys. So I really appreciate everything you guys are doing. So continue to do so. Um, leave comments, feedback. If you – if you hey, you, you know – they don't like my, my, my little raspy voice, right? Uh, maybe maybe you want to do mandatory lead capture. Maybe you're getting great success with mandatory lead capture. Maybe you're getting great success by using sneaky or tricky lead capture lead capture tactics. Hey, leave it. Comment. I want I want I want to hear about it, man. I, I, I would love to hear about it. Um, I don't know everything. I do know a lot. But if I'm wrong about something, hey, let me know. But these are the tactics. 
these are the tools, these are the strategies that I've used over the past 15 years that my agents are using that are absolutely crushing it. So um, that's why I like to share this information with you. If you guys need information on, um, you know, getting your online presence to where you want it to be, you guys know how to get a hold of me, elderareyes at gmail.com. Um, my Facebook business page is facebook.com forward slash RE Tech Coach. And then obviously you can always give me a call at 530-760-7827, 530-760-7827. All right, let's have a great Tuesday. Let's go out there and make some uh, – Make some people's dreams by helping them, you know, buy or sell property or invest in real estate, right? I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my agents that I'm working right now are dealing with investors having really good success right now. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a, have an amazing day. Go get them, make it happen. Leave some comments um, and continue. Thank you so much. I mean, just continue to support me. I really, really appreciate it. If there's anything I can ever do for you, like I said, leave some comments. Tell me what you want me to do, do videos on or post content about. Um, and, and it'd be my pleasure to do so. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.